Uh, essentially what aquaponics involves are three key components. We have fish, we have vegetables, and we have beneficial bacteria that convert what the fish produce into a form to that the plants can uptake. Our smaller system, this is kind of a backyard version of the large system. We've got two different independent systems at our farm. This system is roughly 600 gallons of water. The large system is 15,000 gallons of water, but it's the same concept, the same flow pattern and filter pattern. So the water is where the fish live, obviously. Um, we've got striped bass, hybrid striped bass in these two tanks and tilapia in those two tanks that we've all produced, uh, purchased from hatcheries in Colorado. So we are really promoting a Colorado grown and uh, raised um, farm here at Daily Harvest Aquaponics. The water flows gravity fed through a hole down in the bottom of this tank comes over and then comes up into this clarifier to where the large solids hit the white baffle and roll to the bottom of the conical tank. The water then continues on around the white baffle through a filter and into a middle clarifier to where it actually goes through another filter of bird netting there to where the large solids get caught in here, the finer solids get caught in the bird netting here, goes down through the bird netting over the bridge, and then back up through the bird netting, and then down into our, our degassing tank. The real purpose, a secondary purpose of all of the bird netting is this is a great place for the beneficial bacteria that we've got in our system to convert the ammonia which the fish produce into nitrites and then again into the nitrates which makes it readily available for the plants to uptake. So the water flows through different filters and comes down and comes into our system here and it's a water-based system as you can see where the, the root systems just thrive and free flow in the water. Part of what they're doing as they're thriving and, and living is they're taking the nutrients out of the water which the water flows out the backside goes through one pump and one heater and then comes back in into the fish as clean water so it's a circular system that we've got here with um, 90 to 95 percent water use of traditional farming so these are 50 gallon fish tanks in the small system. There are 500 gallon fish tanks in the large system. In here you can see the hybrid striped bass that we've got and how happy and well loved, if you will, that they are. My wife comes and, and as she feeds them, she talks to them and loves them and, and takes care of them. In this tank, We've got tilapia. We've got dark or blue tilapia. And when I got them from the, uh, the hatchery in Canyon City, they were 2.5 grams, which is, you know, a couple inches long. Now they're roughly a pound. And we've got some koi in there as well, coming to say hello. And the koi helped to kind of keep some of the floaters out of the system and, and do a great job as well. So on this side, this is where our, our large system provides the, the money-making part of the, the growing space. We've got three different types of lettuce. Uh, we've got the butterhead lettuce, we've got the romaine lettuce, and then we've got the Lola Rosa lettuce. And the reason we do the lettuce is because it marries up with the nutrients that the fish and the beneficial bacteria provide into the system very, very well. We've also got basil, cilantro, We've bacteria. also got some basil uh, in, the, in the larger system. We've also got basil, Genovese basil growing, as well as citrus basil growing. Uh, in the smaller system, we've got kale, lacinato kale, we've got bok choy, we've got mint, We've got cilantro, we've got Swiss chard. The seeds sit in here and 
in a perfect little nursery environment, if you will. Um, and they sit in these trays for roughly 12 days before we can break apart these little cubes and transplant them into the little square holders right there in the NFT system. So they'll sit in the seating table for roughly 12 days, sit in the NFT system for about 12 days before we transplant them again into the deep water culture system or the raft system into those little holes that we've drilled into the polystyrene boards. Every day we're transplanting uh, the plants from the NFT into the deep water culture system. We'll turn on the lights so that you can see what they look like when we have them on. And again, when you look up into the lights, I'm not sure if you can see it on video or not, but the fixtures themselves have a blue bulb, a red bulb, and a white bulb so that they're completing the, uh, the, the grow spectrum. At this end, we're pushing the system down to where we're harvesting down at that end and pulling out roughly 200 to 220 heads of lettuce at optimum capacity um, per day. So our hopeful, our goal for, for 2015 is roughly about 55,000 heads of lettuce for the year.